that's dead, the hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. <laughs> that goes both ways, you know. I thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything. Not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Damn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli. Drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri is the one who took over Point Verdun, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point Verdun back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, he better be worth all this trouble. yourself around my files. There's a snip.
the cross. Man, I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. We may have met a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. And what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidon back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. Volley, you chalky bastard. What's already? Look where it got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You listen, that you listen, God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. It's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There are more stones in the lakes of you that are fucking off. Uh-huh. Once Bob 
Barbieri's dad, I'm counting on you to step up. I'll do more than step up. And I'll be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you not once again. A nation once again. And long a province be a nation once again. send you out half cocked fuck well your dad's never been much for details yeah what he didn't tell you is that the man running the sweetwater distillery is named carl bevers hard ass country asshole his family runs the shine through the business sells it to local shops bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills uh, he's got brains enough to move things around rumor is he's got a map hid somewhere for his drivers hmm. something like that could come in handy maybe i'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is We've got another man, goes by the name of Bear, keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You want to know what Bevis is up to, you're going to have to get at some of his people. <laughs> 